my earliest memories have been about cars. You know, sitting in my dad's lap, I just always felt like an affinity to, to cars and, and wanting to drive. My grandfather he used to watch um, Formula One every second weekend, and that's how I sort of got introduced really to motorsport, and that's when I first saw Spa. There's just, you know, uh, such an incredible heritage to this place and tradition to this place. So for me, when I saw it on the schedule at the beginning of the season, I was like, oh, please, I hope you know, I could do well at Spa. It rained on Friday and it was probably a good thing because Everybody was more cautious. Uh, we start with the lead and foul like always. First of all, you're all the way in the back. Three, four laps. Here, Mikey, here we go. kind of like got a mix of all of them, you know? It's got some width to it, but it's got a flow to it. Looks good. Fun, man. Really like it. It's starting to get really dry out there in the end. And then it, it dried up for the late afternoon session. I was using old tires. He was struggling slightly, but the decision was to drive with the old tires from the race before. I think the this time was a 29 and I was posting 34. Okay, slow down, slow down. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. I couldn't turn the car in, I was suffering a lot of understeer. I, I couldn't stay in there. Yeah. It was just pushing me out wide all the time. All the guys, Fred, uh, Alex, said new tires. Yeah, new tires. So we saved tires for tomorrow. Yeah. So what were they sitting? What times were they sitting? 30. 30. Fucking hell. No, 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 it's easy. New tires. Yeah, it's very here, especially here on the track, no worries at all. On the Saturday morning, the target was 27. Now you have a fresh set of tires, so take it easy, use the time. I had the new tire, so I got a good run in the free practice, got down to 29. I was like, okay, because it was really stressing me out. The car feels really good, it's turning in a lot more. I mean, it's so easy to find the next two seconds, easy. Just stick to our ref points and then everything is fine. And then I managed to hook it up. I think on my third flying lap on new tires, I got a 2701. I was in the 26, I, screwed, I couldn't get second gear in the last chicane it's again. Yeah, stop talking, <laughs> it's fine. And that kind of just set everything in motion for the rest of the weekend. The sprint races are a lot of fun and it's great to do it, but our goal is to start learning the endurance racing. The philosophy was to take Friday and Saturday as two learning days and then Sunday to, you know, try and sort of tighten everything up for the endurance races. I had the opportunity to qualify this time. My fastest time was 27.4. In my second flying lap, I came upon a GT4. I had to slow right down at the breaking point there. I lost quite a bit of time going in there. We were starting on P12. I started the first endurance race, and then Alex would start the second race on the fresh set. On Urush, look in the mirror. Yep. On the right-hand side or left-hand side. Three, 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 three. 
top 10 of this net. I came in after, I think, 25 minutes, and then Alex jumped into the car. Uh, we lost uh, 70 seconds on the way out, just in the outlet. Did he maybe have a spin or something? Unfortunately, Alex had a, a bit of a spin on the first lap and we lost um, quite a few places. I mean, it happens. We are winning and losing together as a team. For him, it was important as well to build up the confidence from, from Alex as well and said, OK, come on. We were now starting the second endurance race in P12. Alex started the race. You ready? Alex did a proper start and after 10 minutes that was a safety car. Because the safety car comes out, everybody goes around the lap a lot slower, it's an optimum time to do a driver change. So everybody came into the pit. But I got a clean exit out of the pit and then I was just sort of, you know, really uh, psyched to, to race. I took two cars after coming out of the pit. And then there was a car in front of me and that was a little trickier. He was fighting for uh, position eight. Getting past him was tricky, he defended well. So into the bus stop, chicane, always very close. And then running down into turn one, again very close. So we were like bumper to bumper going through a rouge. Then Felix came over the radio and he was like, okay, you got three laps left. Three laps to go, position nine. I thought, okay, I've got to make a move here. I got a really good run out of a rouge and he didn't. So he was directly on the toe, was very close down the camel straight and then I just moved to the right. There wasn't a lot of room left. Braked really late, but managed to hold the position for the, the, the left-hander. After that, I started to pull away. Good job, Michael. Last step, one more left position. And I was like, okay, just keep it clean now. So yeah, the, uh, the bus stop chicane, I was free. Well done, Michael, well done. I just crossed the line, I saw you guys sort of, you know, on the wall, and I was just like pumping my fist. And... That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. That was amazing. Holy shit. Wow. That's nice. You know, a really nice way to end. Definitely the best weekend so far of, of the season. And yeah, camel, camel, right? man. I was like, yes. I, I went through a rouge and I was like, I have you now. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, great, great job. That was intense. That was, very that was intense. We were in P14 and when I got out of the car, we were P8. I mean, this is really proper racing. He had a plan. He was fighting two or three laps for this position and he did a very smart, smart move. Woo! Yeah, fuck yeah. Very proud of <laughs>